Right, let's have Earl and Villain out here now. I'll hold your dog. We're going to have you work with something little. <laughs> Why don't you grab the Jack Russell there? <laughs> okay, steady, big boy. Okay. Not quite the image. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you give instructions. Come, I'll hang come. on as best I can to this fellow. What's his name? Tess. Tess. Hey, oh, Tess. Come. Oh, good girl. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Tess. Ah, sit. Good girl. He's a good girl, Tess. Sit. Good girl. He's a clever girl, Tess. Sit. Ah. Sit, good girl. He's a clever girl. Sit, ah, sit, good girl. Ah, sit, good girl. He's a clever girl. Tess, good girl, sit. Sit, good girl, good girl, sit. And good boringly girl. release her. Good girl. Release dog. Very, very nice. Really nice timing there, okay? Uh, now we have Earl working with a dog that we, we've never seen before. So the dog's no reason to like you. So we have to be sweet. And you'll notice how incredibly sweet he was. But every single time the dog said, I'm going to break, he picks it up. So whatever you use as a reprimand, you can say, oi, if you like, I'll let that go by. Whatever you do, something. The ah uh -uh frightens the life out of me when people do it. And I'll tell you why. My dad used to do that with me as a kid. <laughs> when anyone goes, ah, uh -uh, I think, dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do a good job. But it works. To train a dog, basically, you've got to praise it when it's getting it right and then let it know when it's getting it wrong. You have to let it know when it's getting it wrong, but you don't have to go overboard and frighten the dog.